he was the best man you will ever meet. Tonight, a Stockton police officer not only mourning the death of a colleague, but also the loss of her beloved husband. Officer Tila Inn says the last few days have been foggy after her husband, Jimmy Inn, was shot and killed while responding to a domestic violence call. CBS 13's Valina Jones is live for us in Stockton tonight with the community standing behind her. Valina. Yeah, you know, even at this late hour, I just saw someone coming from this area after paying their respects to Officer Inn. You can see just how many flowers and candles are being left in his honor. And his wife, Tila, tells me she's overwhelmed by the support her family is receiving. She wants the community to know that she is reading every single message that is being sent. And it's that love and support, she says, is helping her get through every single day. I've never met anybody like that, and I don't think I ever will. The past few days bringing a roller coaster of emotions for Tila Inn, who is just beginning to process the loss of her husband. Sometimes I feel okay, and I'm laughing and joking, and then, and then I stop and look around and realize he's not here. To the community, people knew him as Officer Jimmy Inn. He wanted people to call him Jimmy. But for Tila, also a Stockton police officer who met Jimmy in the police academy in 2016, he was so much more. He was the best man you will ever meet, the best person. He changed my life. I don't know what I'm going to do without him because he's just, he was the positive force in my life. The father of three came by the house an hour before the fatal shooting to see his seven-month-old baby boy. He kissed the baby bye and he kissed me bye and we told each other we loved you and I told him I'd see him out there and I never did. Tila says her husband was the family comedian, always looking to bring people joy and is overwhelmed with those now showing love back. He would stop the world to give something to somebody that needed it. And yesterday during the procession, it was nice to see the world stop for him because he deserves it. He deserves everything. Looking to keep her husband's memory alive, Tila says she will honor him by putting back on the badge, wearing his last name close to her heart. I have to go back. He would want me to go back. He would want me to live out our legacy now and, and live out my dream. Tila tells me the two things her husband wanted most in life were to be a police officer and a father, and she's glad that he got to do both of those things in his 30 years.